Do you have a good personal record that you want to record, but you don't have a capture card? And you don't want to look like you recorded with a potato? Well, don't worry, because with Dolphin, you can do just that. Now, the things you will need are a computer, Dolphin emulator, a Mercury ISO file, and the ghost file. So, let's get into this. I'm here on my computer now. Okay, so first you have to download Wii Scrubber. The link is in the description. This is an application that basically lets us change the FastSaf ghost in Market Wii to our ghost. Now you want to open up the folder and then unzip it so you can use it. Now that you're here, click Extract All to unzip it. Now pick where you want it to go and click Extract. Now open up the Wii Scrubber folder and click Master Key Bin. Once it loads, type in the number that you see, and then click Generate. Click OK here, and then go to the Wii Scrubber application and open it up. In the top left, click Load ISO, and then find your ISO, and then click Open. Now, close Wii Scrubber and go to Chad's off and find your ghost that you want to replace. Scroll down and click on the link that says this ghost can be downloaded here, and then download it. Click show in folder and then find your ghost. You want to make a copy of it, so click on it and hit Ctrl C and then Ctrl V. Now you want to rename the file. Right click on it and hit rename. You want to rename the first one ghost1 underscore comp underscore the number of the track. If you don't know what the number of the track is, look on screen or in the description. Now you want to do the exact same thing for the second one. Instead of ghost1, you want to do ghost2. Now that you're done renaming the files, head over to Wii Scrubber so we can do the replacing part. Now that you're here, you want to click Partition 1, then Race, then Time Attack, then click Ghost 1. Then find the track number and right click on the ghost file. Then click Replace. Now find our ghost file that we made and click Open. Now, click OK here, it'll take you back to the main Wii Scrub page. Now do the same thing again, except instead of Ghost 1, do Ghost 2. Click OK again, and wait for it to load. Then exit Wii Scrubber, and then go to Dolphin. If you don't see your Mario Kart Wii game here, then you need to click open and find your game copy and then open it and then it'll load. Now we need to add some codes to modify the game. Click properties and then click gecko codes. These codes are in the description, so just copy and paste them and then click save. Also, make sure you're using the GameCube controller so that the codes will work. Now, double click on a game and wait for it to load. Now, start the game and go into time trials, and then pick the exact same character vehicle combo that you did in your ghost.
then go on the same track that the goose was raced on. Now that you're here, press X to start recording the ghost data and then challenge the ghost. Now, let the ghost play a little bit and then exit to the select screen. Now, you're going to start recording. Go over the movie and click dump frames. Then, click dump audio too. Now, all you have to do is do a solo time trial and then just wait it out. It may take some time if you have a slow computer like me, but just wait until it's done. Okay, so the ghost just finished. Now you want to stop dumping the frames in audio by clicking on them. Now you can close Mercury Wii and Dolphin and then go to the files. Now you want to go where it says Dolphin. Then click on Dump, then click on Frames, and then that is where the video should be. Now do the exact same thing for the audio except instead of clicking Frames, click Audio. The file you need is DPS Dump. Then simply just combine the video and audio in an editor and you're done. So I hope this tutorial helped. If you want to see the result, click on this video. And if you liked it, subscribe. Thanks. Bye.